Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, today we're doing a special Mother's Day version of Bites and Nibbles with Breck. Um, as you know, my mom and I both have instant pots. Um, I got one from my parents for Christmas and when my mom heard about it, she said she wanted one too, so I got her one. Well, as you know, I've used mine a whole bunch of times, but my mom is sometimes a little timid with uh, new technology. So I decided today that I was going to show her how to prepare uh, s some steamed vegetables. She loves steamed vegetables. And as you know, I got her a little steamer rack for her Instant Pot uh, for Mother's Day. And she opened it up today and she loves it and she wants to know how to use it. So today's vlog is gonna show my mom how to just steam different kinds of vegetables. So that's what I'm having for dinner tonight, is, is steamed vegetables. Now that's, that's fine with me, I love that. Uh, I think the steamed vegetables are more tasty than any other way, and I've been a long, -term, uh, long time advocate of doing it that way. So um, since I'm, I'm gonna actually prepare several things, I've got some green beans, I've got some corn on the cob, and I've got some carrots. So let's get, let's get going with this. All right, so here's the ingredients of what we're going to need for our uh, steamed vegetables. I've decided to go with some green beans, which I'm a huge fan of, some carrots, of course, which are really good for you, and I also have uh, an ear of corn. And I'm going to do them all in the Instant Pot at the same time. Now, the green beans and the corn actually cook for the same time uh, as each other so I'm, I'm going to throw those in together the carrots however are supposed to go in for a little bit longer i guess it's a little bit more dense of a of a vegetable and takes a little longer to cook um, for the sake of argument though i am going to cook it with the other uh, with the green beans and the corn and just do it all in the, in the pot at the same time because uh, that just means the carrots will be a little crunchy so let's get going with this Oh, and of course, the hero of our show, one Instant Pot. Now, I usually store my steamer basket in my Instant Pot right in the, in the uh, inside tray there. So, I'm going to remove that right now. Now, it turns out I have a slightly different model of a basket than my mom does, but it doesn't matter. It all kind of works the same way. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just push the Instant Pot out of the way for now. I'm going to set my tray right here, and I'm going to cut up my veggies and prepare them. Now, when both my mom and I got our Instant Pots, it came with this little handy-dandy lookup chart that shows you how to, how to steam most of the common vegetables that you'd run into. And so you got options like asparagus. I know my mom loves asparagus. Green beans, which we're going to do. Broccoli, my mom loves that. Brussels sprouts, that was more my dad's thing. Uh, there's carrots right there. You know, corn on the cob, all sorts of things. Anything you'd want to do kind of shows you how to do it. And there's basically two things that you have to consider when you're doing at least the simple uh, steaming of vegetables. One is the pressure level that you're going to that you're going to use. It can be high pressure or low pressure. And then the other is the cooking time. Now, all of these vegetables are kind of set up as high pressure. So that's how they're all going to be set up and then the individual times are just listed right here on the chart between one and two minutes uh, for your time for your based on your own tastes now so we're doing the green beans so that's one to two minutes we're doing corn on the cob so that's one to two minutes but we got carrots in here and they're saying six to eight minutes now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually cut the carrots up into small chunks uh, you know, probably quarter inch slices or something and let's see if that helps cook it a little faster Otherwise, you know, it just normally you'd cook these a little longer, but like I said, I'm trying to do this quickly for one vlog and You know, I'm just gonna cook everything together All right, so I've washed my carrots. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut the ends off And we're gonna discard that because I don't need any of that a lot of people like to peel their carrots before they before they do it. I choose not to, I usually don't. I'm, I'm fine with it just the way it is. But if you wanna peel your carrots, then you can peel your carrots. Like I said, just gonna make little, uh, about quarter inch slices here. And that goes in.
Next, I'm, I'm going to prepare my green beans. I'm just going to cut them up with some uh, kitchen shears. Like I'm about one inch long. And then we're going to peel one uh, ear of corn. Because I love corn on the cob. Got to get all the fur off of it here. And then what I usually do is I cut the, uh, the little edge off the, the corn just so that my uh, corn on the cob uh, holders uh, fit on there really well. And it also makes it fit in the basket a little bit better. All right, so when we use our Instant Pot as a pressure cooker, we use steam to create the pressure. And so the, the steam has to come from somewhere and it comes in the form of about one cup of water that you add to the pot before you put anything in. You simply put your basket in on top of it and you close the lid. Now, you look on the back of this thing, there's kind of this big flat kind of round area back here. This is what you're aiming for. This thing is supposed to line up with this thing. And so what you end up with is you push it closed with this along this edge here. You'll hear it make that tone it made, right? This one, okay? That means you got it closed but not locked. You then rotate it a little bit clockwise and you hear the doo -doo 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 -doo. that tells you that you're closed. Now the whole thing is ready to start. All right, so we start where we're going to be steaming our vegetables. Now remember on the chart it said one to two minutes for the corn and for the green beans and six to eight minutes for the carrots. So we're going to steam it at two minutes just so we give the carrots as much time as possible. Like I said, they'll probably be a little crunchy, but that's fine. So I'm going to press the steam button. I'm uh, actually going to point this out because uh, my mom's configuration is just the same as mine. The only difference is hers is a little bit smaller. So all the buttons are the same. Everything should be the same uh, on yours, mom. And so you start off with the steam button. Press it. It comes on. It's already defaulted to three minutes because that was what I did last time. So what I want to do is I want to lower it to two minutes. So you use the arrow keys. You want to go down. You press the arrow key until it goes to. If you want to increase it, you increase it like this. But we want two minutes. Okay, and then you have the pressure. And the pressure is controlled by this button that says pressure level. And basically, it just flips back and forth between low and high pressure. We want high pressure. So we've got it set for two minutes at high pressure. Like I said, this will, if you do this multiple times, it'll remember your last settings. So you, you may not even need to change this. Uh, but you leave it going for a second, and now it is on. And what's happening now is the heat is it's starting to heat up, and it'll begin to boil that water. And when the water boils, it'll be, start building up pressure in there, and uh, we'll show you what happens then. All right, a couple minutes have passed. The water is beginning to boil inside right now, and you're being able to you're being able to hear it start rumbling. And there's actually a little bit of steam coming out of this. This is how the pressure starts to build up. Once the pressure hits a certain level in there, it'll push this little red button up. And now once that little red button is up, it's under a pressure. So we're going to wait for that to come up, which should any second. And there, the little red button popped up. Now pressure is being held inside there and it's slowly starting to climb. Now it's going to take a minute or two for the pressure to build up to the 12 PSI that it needs to operate. So once that happens, uh, the timer will start. And there'll be a little beep when that happens. There we go. So the timing, the pre we've hit the pressure now and now the, uh, the timer is started and it'll go for two minutes and it'll beep at me when that happens.
All right, so our two minutes is up. Next thing we want to do, uh, the thing automatically goes into a mode where it will keep the keep your food warm in case you're not ready to use it right then. But what I'm actually going to do is right below it, there's a button that says cancel. And I got to hang on, I got to pick up the phone here and or pick up the camera. And I'm going to do that because I don't want to keep it warm. We're done with it. And, and unfortunately, if you leave the keep it warm button on, even when you open it and vent the pressure, the uh, the heater will stay on and sometimes it'll cause a problem. So I'm going to just hit the cancel, which turns everything off. Next, we're going to go vent the pressure and we're going to get our food out. So now here we are back on top again. Um, there's two types of vent modes on this thing. There's natural vent and there's manual vent. With natural vent, if you just leave it there for a while, depending on how much water in there, the pressure will slowly seep out of there over 10, maybe 15 minutes or more. And once this little red button goes down, then you know that you've vented the pressure. But we don't want to do that. We don't want to leave it in there for 10 or 15 minutes. We're going to do manual vent. And manual vent, manual vent just means that we're going to press this little button here. Now when we press this button here, the steam is going to begin coming out of here. So keep your fingers away from this because you'll get burned if you do. But just kind of get it here and press the button. And once the venting is complete, the little red button will drop and you know that it's uh, safe to open. There we go. There's the red button. It popped down. So let's open this up. And basically, we rotate counterclockwise until you hear the song, uh, tone. You're going to lift it up. Now, it sometimes sticks a little bit, so be ready for that. And you're also going to have a lot of steam that's going to accumulate on the lid. So I, I tend to keep the lid over the pot for a second until all the the condensed uh, the condensed steam uh, you know drains out. But there is our uh, steamed vegetables ready to go. So there we go. This is our final product. We've got some carrots, some green beans, and some corn on the cob. I think that's going to be my meal for tonight. We're going to go total vegetarian for dinner, and that's fine. But I got to show you a whole bunch of things. It actually looks like the carrots came out pretty well. They may be a little crisp yet, but that's fine. You, if, if they are, then you just uh, you cook them for a little longer next time. But anyway, that's a very healthy thing. And like I said, my mom loves steamed vegetables. So now she should know how to do this like a pro. And so that's all I have for today. Uh, happy Mother's Day to my mom. I love you. And uh, uh, for the rest of you, Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.